So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab that is create a custom search app for healthcare data in AI application. So first of all click on start lab and here basically you may see some kind of time provisioning so you need to wait for at least one minute or the time they have mentioned so just wait for it and here we'll complete this lab without any issue. the page is open you have to just open the cloud console incognito window now follow along with me to get full score in this lab now here it is getting signed it automatically if it asks for username and password you can refer to the lab instruction now if you are new to this channel and want to complete other genie labs you can check the playlist section and do subscribe the channel for more now here it is getting signed in automatically so just wait for some time here just if you get any kind of pop-up you have to click on agree and continue now here from here let me show you what you have to do from the search box wait for a few seconds from the search box you have to type healthcare okay you have to just type healthcare and you can see on the top there is healthcare option you have to just click on the healthcare option so wait for a few seconds till it get loaded First thing is that we have to enable the API. Make sure you have clicked on the healthcare, not healthcare API. Because if you click on API, you will be redirected to API page only. But if you have clicked on healthcare, you will be redirected over here. So now here you have to just click on enable. And after that, the page will load and we have to create a data set. So just wait for some time and wait for the page to fully load. Here the page has been successfully loaded. You have to just click on create data set and for the data set name You have to come back to the lab instructions and go to the task number one and from here You can see the data set name is here copy the name carefully Paste over here and just change the location type to multi-region and it will be us. So just click on create It will take some time so wait for it now once it is successfully created it will show like this now from here what you need to do you have to just click on the FHIR data just click on the FHIR data it will take some time so open just click on it now from here we have to create the data store so for the data store the type will be what type we have to use it's mentioned on the lab instruction we are creating FHIR data store. Now for the name also, you can need to come to the lab instruction, copy the name carefully. And after that, we have to change, just change the version also. So it will be R4. If they say R5, they will mention in the lab instruction. Now we have to do nothing, just click on create. And it will be created within few seconds. So just wait for it. Now finally, it has been successfully created. Now here we have to import the data. So how you have to import the data, you can do one thing, you can open the FHIR data store or just do one thing. From here, you can see the actions menu. You can see here, we have actions, we have to just import the data. So just click on this action, let me show you. And then here, you can see import export option is here. Just click on the import option. Now, click on the advanced option and check this box. Now for the path, come to the lab instruction and copy this path. Now copy this path carefully and just paste on the location section. Now once the location section is updated, here just change this import settings. Make sure to change accordingly and then click on import. Now it will take some time to import it and then we'll move forward to the next step of this lab. Now you can see here import progress may take some time you can wait for one to two minutes so just wait for it to get completed it will take some time so you need to wait only so let's wait for a minute and then we'll try to check the score again. Now just check the score again 
and here you can see finally we got a score now we'll move forward to the second step of this task basically lab so from here we have to open the ai applications so just type ai applications and from here you have to just open in a new tab and we have to just add some permissions also first of all let the page to open now just wait for this page to fully load so finally it's loaded now here you have to just click on this checkbox and continue and activate the api just click on it like this so once you have clicked on it the page will reload itself and open the a application home page so now here first thing is that we have to enable these two permissions so after that we'll just create our app so just copy this thing basically come to here and use this iam and from here just right click and open in a new tab so just open it in a new tab so it takes time meanwhile in case you haven't liked the video yet do like it now here you can see this option we have to just include the gcp provided rules first of all copy the basically this agent type so just check this box and use this property just use it on the filter we have to just paste it you can see we got this service account now from here use the pencil icon and here we have to add two rules so just click on add another rule and come to the lab instruction the two roles are BigQuery data editor and BigQuery job user so just copy carefully now click on another rule and we have to add the BigQuery job user copy it just click on it and just save it so basically we have saved all these things now we have to add another rule that is discovery engine service account so from here if you'll try to find it you won't get because we have enabled this filter first thing is that we have to remove this filter and then search again so first remove this filter and then search it again you can use ctrl f also what you should do you should just type the complete service account and click on this pencil icon now here you have to just click on add a new role and for the role you have to just copy the healthcare fhir admin role so just copy it carefully and just you have to just copy it and select a role and paste over here now you have to just paste it and after that just select it like this and then you have to just save it so once you have saved it we are done with this enable program basically permissions now we have to create the ai application so first of all we'll create the data store so go to the data store and come over here wait for a few seconds and click on create data store on create data store it will take some time so wait for it now for here you have to just select the healthcare api fhir you have to just select this one okay so come down over here and click on select now from here you have to just select this which data store basically the data set which you have created so wait for a few seconds and select it like this now here we have done this part and then we'll move forward to the next part how we'll do you can see we have selected it now we have to just copy the name carefully let's copy the data store name from here and just click on continue if you click on continue directly you will get some kind of error so basically they have not mentioned but here is the catch what you need to do you have to just let me show you if you click on continue you get error so just click on google selected schema and then just paste it and click on create so just click on create it will take some time and then we'll just create our application and we'll be done with the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel in case you haven't done yet so let's go to the first of all check the score 
and here you can see we got the score without any issue now we have to just create the app so go to the app section and just click on create app now once you will click on create app you can see here it is custom search healthcare app so just copy the basically the name and then company name and then click on continue and for the data store just select it which we have just now created now when you will click on create it will take some time and once it's done you need to wait for some time it will be load like this now just check the score and you can see this is the last task and we have completed this lab it will take some time to update the score and that's how we completed this complete module for other JNI labs you can check the playlist that's all about this video thank you guys have a great day ahead do like the video and subscribe the channel do join the telegram channel and follow me on instagram too so that's all about this video goodbye